Wednesday of the third week of Easter reflection. My dear friends, the Lord is saying, I am the bread of life. Whoever comes to me shall not hunger, and whoever believes in me shall never thirst. Amos chapter 8 verse 11, it is said that thirst is not for water, that hunger is not for food. It's for the word of God. So people <coughs> would hunger, thirst, the true satisfaction comes from the bread of life, word becoming flesh and word became bread. So there is this, this is the spiritual nourishment that we have to get if you want to journey spiritually. <clears throat> and whoever believes in me shall never thirst. So your thirst, all the, all the physical needs, what you yearn for, crave for, desire for, <clears throat> it's going to change because you are going to thirst for the Lord. But I said to you that you have seen me and yet you do not believe. Now, the spring, the, river, the real source of everything is here in front of them. That is Jesus. But yet they did not believe him. But I said to you that you have seen me and yet not, do not believe. All that the Father gives me will come to me. And whoever comes to me, I will never cast out. So that's exactly why the, everyone who came to the Lord, seeking Him, will never go empty without meaning. <clears throat> if you respond properly, if you drink from Him, I mean, love Him to come to your life. Eat of Him. Eat of Him. Drink of Him. So you share his life with you, with your broken, shattered nature. So that's how the Lord is going to deal with your life. All that the Father gives me will come to me. And whoever comes to me, I will never cast out. For I have come down from heaven, not to do my own will, but the will of him who sent me. And this is the will of him who sent me. What is it? that I should lose nothing of all that he has given me, but raise it up on the last day. So no one, no one should be perished. <clears throat> no one should be destroyed. Everyone should be saved. So that's the will of the Father. That's the intention of the Father by sending his Son here. God so loved the world that he sent his only Son. Those who believe in him shall be saved. For this is the will of my Father, <clears throat> that everyone who looks on the Son and believes in him should have eternal life. And I will raise him up on the last day. So my dear friends, so it's a, it's a journey deep down, spiritually nourished, focused. So that's exactly how we should live. That's exactly by the reason that I should live. So we find in this journey, it does not mean that you become supernatural beings. No, you, you have to go through terrible pain, terrible agony. But then that very pain and agony, that mess can be a message. If you are fed by the word of God, if you are fed by the body of Christ, <coughs> because you are spiritually strengthened, spiritually awakened, spiritually focused. That's exactly why we should have that spiritual nourishment in our journey. There arose one on that day, a great persecution. Now after Stephen's Stephen was persecuted, he was thrown to death. And many friends, so then he started the persecution, a difficult time. Terrible, terrible time. So it's so in that against the church in Jerusalem, and they were all scattered. But then, because of 
that persecution they were scattered <coughs> all the seeds we should sow the seed is it so all these people are seeds seeds of the word of god so when when wherever they were scattered they started preaching in their in the places where they are planted they bloom where they are planted so that's exactly our nature that are our calling to to think differently make all the negativity negativity and may they turn it positive to turn it to positive approach so what happened throughout the reign of judea samaria except apostle except the apostles devout men buried stephen and made a great lamentation over him so it's it's a terrible blow first person is killed the first person who is killed and now he was shot to death so this shook the people <coughs> challenged the people to leave the faith and also in the same time it challenged the whole system so it's but then you have to remember in the spirit you discern it differently when he was stephen was stoned to death the way he prayed father this let do not place this guilt on them because they don't know what they are doing this is exactly words of the lord on the cross my dear friends so so what happened but saul was ravaging ravaging the church and entering house after house he dragged off men and women and committed them to prison now those who were scattered went about preaching the word so every every they made every opportunity to preach to spread the word of god so that's that's the reason now you you look at the situation look at the dire strait look at the terrible incident in a different way of course you you are you are it's painful of course you will be frustrated that's a part of the journey but then you <coughs> if you are connected properly you will see the purpose you will see the purpose in every negative thing every blow every failure every disaster there is a plan of god plan waiting so that you have to hold on my dear friends and the crowds with one accord philip went down to the city of samaria and proclaimed to them the christ and the crowds with one accord paid attention to what was being said by philip when they heard him and saw the signs that he did so my dear friends this is the need this is the need of the miracle a sign it's a sign not a goal <coughs> so god promised in matthew 16 mark 16 when he was ascend was ascended to heaven he said i'll be with you whenever wherever you go and preach i will certify your sermons your preaching with signs so you will do greater things than i because i'm going to the father my dear friends so what happened so it's important that they saw the signs and accept the lord so they did did some credibility to show that we are men of god so this is the reason this is the meaning of a life so unclean spirits crying out with loud voice came out of many who had them and many who were paralyzed or lame were healed so there there was much joy in that city <coughs> my dear friends so that's exactly that's exactly what we should gain what we should drive for so the lord the lord is making making every hazard an opportunity so this is our journey when you are fed by the spiritual bread body of christ the word of god you journey differently even in pain you consider it's it's is an opportunity he can make your mess a message amen may god bless you